Welcome to OMG class. OMG stands for Origami Math Genius. It combines art and math into learning. It is to make you into an OMG. I'm Dr. Fan, a big fan of origami. What is your name? Well, let's make a name stand for you too. Here is a standard copy paper. What shape is it? Rectangle. Yes, it is a rectangle. Now let's fold it vertically into half, line to line, corner to corner. This fold is the center line of this paper. It divides this paper into two equal parts, same size. And each part is one half. Next, fold the top edge to the center line and the bottom edge to the center line as well. Open it up. This is threefold, one, two, three. Divide this paper into four equal parts. Each part is a quarter. They all have the same size. Unfold it and bring two ends together. Overlap them. You got your name stand. Here you go. And then you can write your name here, like I will write here, Dr. Fan. And then that's your name stand. Congratulations, you just folded the first OMG project. Did you realize that you performed some math in the project? Let's review them. The paper we used is a standard letter size. It is a rectangle. The longer side is 11 inch and the shorter side is eight and a half inch. Your first fold divided the rectangle into two equal parts. Each part is one half. Your three folds together divided the rectangle into four equal parts. Each part is a quarter. This is the basic math concept of a fraction. Our next project is to build a origami tower like this one. We will use this name stand to build the tower. And look at this. What shape do you see here? It's a triangle. It has a one, two, three sides. So this column is called a triangular column. We're going to fold a lot of them to build the tower. Let's build the tower. We start with first column here, and then second here, third and fourth. So, and then I put a one piece of paper lay flat on top of it. So the total paper we used for the first layer is five, right? Okay, so now the next question is, how high is this column so far? The paper we used is 11 by 8.5. The longer side is 11 inch and the shorter side is 8.5. So if you put this together, we know that the height of the column is 8.5 inch. Question, how many pieces of paper have we used to build this two-layer tower? Ten. Ten, yes. It's five plus five equal ten. Now, next question is, how high is this tower so far? Remember, the first one is eight and a half, and this one is also eight and a half. So, the height of this tower is eight and a half, plus eight and a half. So the result would be 17. Let's continue to build the tower. Mm -hmm. 
Now the tower has four layers. How many pieces of papers have we used? We used five pieces of paper per layer. So we have four layers. We should add them together four times. Or we multiply five by four. That's also equal to 20. What about the height of this tower? How high is the tower? Again, each layer is eight and a half inches high. So the four layers you add four times, that's 34. If you know how to multiply, you can multiply 8.5 by 4. That's also 34. The highest tower we have built so far has 12 layers. For the 12 layers, how many pieces of papers are there? And how high is it? That's all for today. After this class, if you can build higher than 12 layers, please let me know. Thank you. I'm Dr. Fan, a big fan of origami.